in the future. Bees will discover technology left behind by space-going humans. They will use it to build their own tiny spaceships and explore the galaxy as Space Bees! Give up, bees. We have you surrounded. Sort of. Yes, sort of. <laughs> You're backed up against an asteroid. You have nowhere to go. Unless they just kind of fly to the side. Yes, unless you... Stop giving them ideas. I don't know how we're going to get out of this one, Captain. Computer, reveal our current position. You are next to the outer asteroid belt of the star Epsilon Eridani. The same place you were when you asked two minutes ago. I knew it. I need options, bees. We could all close our eyes. We could paint our ship asteroid color. We could just surrender. Thanks, Ensign Normal B, but I'm not ready to surrender just yet. Perhaps you could escape by flying through the asteroid belt. We'll be smashed to bits. I've seen those Hollywood movies. We've all seen those movies, but the movies are wrong. Hollywood wrong? I doubt that. Action movies like to show asteroid belts as being extremely densely packed, where asteroids are constantly smashing into each other. But the reality is that in a mature asteroid belt, there would be huge distances between large objects. If you were sitting beside one asteroid, you would have a difficult time seeing your nearest neighbor. And not just because you have your windows closed. Well, how about that? First mate, plot a course through the asteroid field. Aye, aye, Captain. Wait, we weren't done threatening you. Amazing! We're inside the asteroid belt, and I haven't seen any other asteroids yet! Which is typical for asteroid fields. Think about it like this. For any two asteroids in here, they're likely either moving closer or further away from each other. If they're moving closer, they're likely to eventually hit and combine into a larger object. And if they're moving away from each other, well, that's how you get all this empty space between asteroids. Oh, so, yeah, so true. true. Yeah, I totally knew this. Over time, you have an asteroid field with a lot of large asteroids, but also a lot of empty space between them. It's all very unlike what you see in the movies. It seems weird that special effects in movies aren't real. We're approaching the second asteroid. Slow to one-tenth speed. Aye, Captain. Wow. There really is a lot of space between them. Who knew that an asteroid field is more empty field than actual asteroid? We finally caught you. Wow, you bees fly fast. Very fast indeed. <laughs> Wait a minute, don't compliment them. Oh yeah, I forgot about the spiders. Sorry spiders, we'll have to talk later. Right now we're behind schedule. To do science! Wait, if we blow you up, that would be doing science. Come back, you can't escape. They can if they use Hyper Boost. Thanks for the tip. Ah, for crying out loud. I've been working with NASA's Universe of Learning on the Astrophysics Variety Hour. This was just one segment, so go watch the whole show, click through, it's so much fun. There's music and Felicia Day and me and lots of other familiar faces, and you might even learn something cool, too. How about that?